Hello everyone, I uh, just wanted to make a quick little tutorial video I guess on how to get the custom crosshairs that I have in my videos because I get a lot of people just in the comments asking about it and I feel like it would just be better to make a video. I think one already exists out there but some people might not know where it is so I'll just, I'm just going to make another one with uh, voice obviously but I'm going to link a Google Drive link in the description and you want to start off by downloading this file config underscore ol dot i and i and mumble underscore ol dot dll I'm also going to put another link in the description for the mumble 1.2.8 download and then you're going to want to download the dot msi file for 1.2.8 and once you go through setup and all of that, you want to go to your Mumble location in your program files right here. And this file right here, mumble underscore ol dot dll. That's okay. Maybe because Mumble's open, I can't touch it. Let's close Mumble. Now we can rename it. Change it to mumble dash backup. And then the file that you downloaded from the Google Drive, just slap it on in there. Next, you want to go to your Left 4 Dead 2 directory where the application exe actually is. And with the config ini file, you just want to slap it on in there. And if you actually open it with a text editor, you see that all it says is xhair account equals. And you want to set the number to how many crosshairs you want to use and download whatever crosshairs you want from the drive and rename them such as this in ascending order. So I have XR1 and XR2, for example, here. And you just wanna slap those bad boys on in there. And the way it should work is if I've done everything properly, when you press the insert key on your keyboard, a crosshair should show up on the screen. And there you have it. So now we can just go into, say, a campaign. A little single player. I have the crosshair on my screen. Means everything was perfect. As you can see, I still have the other crosshair. And if you don't know how to make the actual in-game crosshair transparent without actually getting rid of the infected crosshair, it's just cl underscore crosshair underscore alpha zero. And now you have the crosshair that you want, and it should be good to go. So hopefully this video helped someone out there at least. If you want me to keep making more videos, make sure to like and subscribe. You know, it's just a small little thing, but I really enjoy the feedback. And uh, have fun in your games.